A Calgary man is shaken and a community shocked after he says he was attacked for having a Palestinian flag in the back of his car. He came for me and uh, he, he told me come out and he need fitting and he did the box in the glass. Tamara Abu Hasira moved from Gaza to Canada three years ago, seeking the safety he thought Canada would offer. His wife and children, they just arrived two months ago. This, they say, was not the welcome they expected. I got a picture of Muhammad in my car, Allah, you want me to give it to you? <laughs> in that moment, how were you feeling? Uh, so, so, so bad. It's very, very so bad. In the video, you can see Hasira trying to drive away as a man pulls up behind him. But then Hasira is cut off and forced to stop. That's when the man gets out of his pickup and starts harassing Hasira, calling him derogatory names, including terrorist, several times. You're a as he goes to leave the scene, he punches Hasira's window and rips off his windshield wiper before telling Hasira this. Police are looking at whether or not this is more than a road rage incident. A suspect has already been charged with mischief to a vehicle and the investigation, they say, is ongoing. I have spent a lot of the morning talking to uh, our community members, our community con contacts. Um, just because the mischief offence was, was laid yesterday does not preclude any other offences coming forward. Members of the Palestinian community have rallied around Hasira, saying they're confident this was driven by the fact that Hasira had a Palestinian flag in his rear window, something he's scared to drive with now. They don't want this to happen to someone else. Well, the Palestinian community is quite shocked with what happened to Tamar Abu Hasira. Not only was he threatened, uh, we believe he was abused. In the meantime, Hasira hasn't left his property. Neither has his wife, and he's kept his kids home from school. He says he left his home in Gaza for a safer life for him and his family. Uh, where the peace in Canada? Where the peace in Canada? In Calgary, Kara Campbell, City News.